Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I welcome you to this broadcast, and I believe this is the solution that God has made available for you. And remember to share your testimonies hereafter. The Holy Spirit is going to work through these powerful ministrations to end the oppressions of the devil in any area of your life. I'd like you to open up your heart and begin to see your deliverance in Jesus' name. My name is Apostle Ambassador David Longer, the lead pastor of Jesus Global Ecclesia. And as commanded by the Holy Spirit, we have been dealing with the issue of total deliverance from all oppressions of the devil based on Act of Apostles chapter 10 verse 38. And how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil and the bible said jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever according to the book of hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 this is jesus global ecclesia where the holy spirit is the leader and i am sent by god to raise for him an army of a holy nation of kings and priests with the wisdom and the power of god to subdue the devil in every area of human endeavor and enforce the will of god in the every area of human endeavor and occupy for jesus christ in all sectors of life while fostering the unity of the body of christ the lord sent me to raise for him men and women in five categories of life in politics and public administration in business innovation and entrepreneurship in professional and career excellence and to raise women to become custodians of destinies of their children and the husband is going to give to each one of them or has already given and to raise for him fivefold ministers pastor prophet evangelist teacher and apostles with supportive ministries as frontline soldiers towards actualizing the acceleration of the return of jesus christ whilst subduing the devil and enforcing the will of god in all areas of human endeavor this is what gave birth to Jesus global ecclesia the church without war and I'm very sure you will find yourself in any of these categories of life and so today I am mandated to speak on the behalf of the Holy Spirit and expect to see the manifestations Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 says stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage because christ has paid the price for the liberty of every one of us christ jesus the king forever has conquered the devil he has spoiled principalities and powers and he has given us dominion in his name when he decree and declare that go ye into all the world because of power in heaven and on earth has been given unto him therefore this brings the devil permanently under your feet as long as you are in christ and submissive to the perfect will of the father when you resist the devil he will flee from you but some level of ignorance may still make satan to be usurping over you but you must never forget that jesus has translated us from the power of darkness and this translation means you are completely free from all demonic and satanic onslaughts because you are now in the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, you begin to decree and declare with me, I overcome all evil now by the blood of Jesus that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Because I believe in the victory of Jesus Christ, I therefore consecrate myself before the Lord for spiritual cleansing right now in Jesus name. I know there are, there are principles of God we need to put in place to begin to claim the blessings that Jesus has victoriously delivered to us as our inheritance in Christ Jesus. And I'm going to take you through these principles and I know afterwards you will testify in the mighty name of Jesus. So let's begin with cleansing and consecration. You say with me, I overcome all evil now in my life by the blood of Jesus I consecrate myself before the Lord I yield my entire being spirit soul and body 
for cleansing right now with the blood of Jesus Christ, the unfailing blood of Jesus that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. I confess if there be any wicked way in me now, Lord, wash me and cleanse me from all of them with the blood of Jesus. I present my body, soul, and spirit as a living sacrifice to you, Lord, now in Jesus' name. Therefore, I decree I am holy by the blood of Jesus. I am justified to receive my miracles, to receive my blessings, to receive my inheritance in Christ Jesus, having received forgiveness of sins in Jesus' name. I decree my soul is fully restored to do only the will of God. I disconnect my soul from every wrong soul towers. In the name of Jesus, in the past and in the present, based on the blood of Jesus that speaks better things and speaking my liberation than the blood of Abel. In the name of Jesus, I uproot any part of my soul from any spiritual dungeon and prison of life. In the spirit, in Jesus' name, my entire soul belongs to God alone. Every evil hiding in any part of my heart i reject them all i hate them all i refuse them all and i cast them out in the name of jesus i release my destiny out of prison in the name of jesus from every stagnancy i am breaking out of the chains and chuckles of life because the holy spirit is in me i declare my liberty in my soul in my heart, in my mind, in my body, in the name of Jesus, as it is written in 1 John 1, 7, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ his son cleanses us from all sins. Therefore, I receive total cleansing now in the mighty name of Jesus. As it is written in 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us all our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I receive justification of Jesus right now in the throne room of God in the mighty name of Jesus. I approach the throne of grace by the new and living way. I obtain mercy in the name of Jesus as it is written. Let us come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy. I receive mercy in the name of Jesus and so I'm finding grace for every need of my life because my high priest Jesus is advocating mediating and interceding for me in the name of Jesus I am blessed I am full of the blessing of God I cannot be denied my inheritance anymore in Jesus name I step into my inheritance as it is written therefore being justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 5 verse 1. I step into my joint heir inheritance with Jesus Christ. I step into my co-inheritance with Jesus Christ. In Jesus name. As it is written in Titus chapter 3 verse 7. That being justified by his grace. We should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. I decree I receive eternal life in Jesus name second Corinthians 1 20 says for all the promises of God in Christ Jesus are yes and in Christ Jesus they are amen unto the glory of God by us by me today Lord as I am in Christ you will take glory over all my situations because all my needs are met every disease is cured Every infirmity is terminated. Every financial distress is over. Every indebtedness is destroyed. I am free to the glory of God by me today, Father, in Jesus' name. You will be glorified as I receive all the promises, all the promises of the new covenant in Christ Jesus. According to your word, they are yes. My healing is yes. My breakthrough is yes. My prosperity is yes. My admission is yes. My promotion is a yes. Lord, I thank you because you can't deny me anymore. In the name of Jesus, 
My deliverance is yes in the name of Jesus. My fruitfulness is yes. My destiny is activated is a yes. All the promises by the blood of Jesus are now yes over my life. I become partaker of your divine nature now, Lord. As it is written in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Because I am clean by the blood of Jesus, I am your son, I am your daughter, I have escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And therefore, the spirit of fear is not my portion, but the spirit of love, power, and of a sound mind. I am your manifestation. I am your righteousness in Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree sin shall never have dominion over me because I am not under the law but under grace. I decree I am in the spirit because the spirit of Jesus is in me. By the Holy Ghost, I am in the spirit. I am not in the flesh. As it is written in Romans 6, 14, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. I cannot sin anymore because I am born of God, because the seed of God remains in me. According as it is written in 1 John chapter 3, verse 9, In the name of Jesus, whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his sin remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. I proclaim that I am sin free because the seed of God is in me. Because I am redeemed by the blood of Jesus, I am free from all bondages of life. And I shall never be bound again. I stand in the liberty that Jesus has made me free. In the name of Jesus, as it is written in John chapter 8 verse 36, If the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. I decree with the host of heaven, I proclaim to the firmament and to the universe, Jesus has made me free. I am free from sicknesses. I am free from diseases. I am free from poverty. I am free from soul imprisonment. I am free from all evil. In the name of Jesus, I will fear no evil anymore. Because the word of God declares 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, for God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I fear no evil. I am free from all vexation of the devil because I have been translated into the kingdom of his dear son because I am made to sit together with Christ in the heavenly places. Far above principalities and powers, I therefore stand in my authority with Christ to subdue all principalities, all powers, tormenting my life till now. I bind them and I cast them out into spiritual prisons in the name of Jesus Christ. Marako da zika to shakadaba. Leko so pahata yaka suk tehilaba. Leko so raila gedo so brahila. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 121 verse 7 declares, the Lord shall preserve me from all evil. He will preserve my soul. I decree and declare my soul is preserved. My soul is preserved by the blood of Jesus. As it is written, and they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. According to Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. Therefore, Satan, I overcome you over my family, over my finances over my health, over my bloodline. I overcome you now in the name of Jesus. Every covenant of evil in the name of Jesus that was established in this bloodline shall have no part on me anymore, shall have, shall have no impact on me anymore because I am uprooted out of that root when I was translated into the kingdom of his dear son. My spiritual root no more belongs to this bloodline. My spiritual root is in Christ, in the name of Jesus. Nevertheless, I disconnect myself from every evil of this bloodline, in the name 
of Jesus, for it is written, If any man be in Christ, is a new creature. All things have passed away, and behold, everything has become new. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, I am now new. I am new in Christ. My soul is new. My soul has no connection with Adam anymore. My soul is connected only to God. I am now of God because I am made new by God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. No evil is allowed in my life anymore. I am breaking free now in the name of Jesus. I decree I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Therefore, evil is not my portion anymore. I break free now in Jesus' name with my household. I break free with my spouse. I break free in the name of Jesus with my children. I break free in Jesus' name. According to that as it is written in Isaiah 54 verse 14, In righteousness shall thou be established, thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near me, near you. I am justified by faith in Jesus Christ, so I am free from all evil and my household, and I am far from all oppression. They shall not come near me anymore. According as Psalm 91 has said, only with my eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked. It shall not come near me. In verse 10, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Therefore I forbid all evil near my dwelling. I am the temple of God. And it is written, whatsoever we defile the temple of God, God is going to destroy. All form of defilement that does not glorify God in this temple, be destroyed now in the name of Jesus. According to 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17, if any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy, for the temple of God is holy. Which temple ye have? I am the temple of God. I am untouchable for the enemy. Because it is written, whosoever touches me touches the apple of God's eyes. According to Psalm 17, verse 8, keep me as the apple of the eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. I decree and declare I am the apple of God's eye. In Jesus' name, thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, O God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. According to Proverbs 12, 21, there shall no evil happen to the just. I am just, so no evil shall happen to me. But the wicked shall be filled with mischiefs. I walk by faith in Jesus, so I will fear no evil. Because the Lord is with me, according to Psalm 23, verse 4, which say, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I receive the comfort of the Lord today. Romans chapter 8, verse 15 says, For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. I am a child of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I can never be bound anymore by any devil in the name of Jesus. For it is written in Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in this flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. I am the temple of the Holy Ghost. I am the temple of Christ. I cannot be defiled anymore. The Holy Ghost has quickened my body because I am fully consecrated to the Lord. No devil or his agent can harm me anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. Galatians chapter 6 verse 17 says, From henceforth let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks, the identity of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to Jesus. The mark of Christ in me is the, the seal of God. The Holy Ghost is on my inside. Because the Lord is my helper, nobody can harm me anymore. In the name of Jesus, as it is written, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5 to 6 declares, and I declare, let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as ye are. For God has said, he will never leave me nor forsake me. 
so that we may I may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Every instrument of the devil in humanity shall never be able to harm me, because God is for me, and I am secured. According to Psalm 56, verse 9, in the name of Jesus, when I cry unto thee, then shall my enemies turn their back. This I know, for God is for me. Now all my enemies are turning their backs. In the name of Jesus, Romans chapter 8, verse 31 says, What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Therefore I decree and declare, I am more than a conqueror. I am more than conquerors in the name of Jesus. According as it is written in Romans chapter 8, verse 7, I am more than conquerors because he loves me. I reject sickness. I reject infirmity. I reject terminal disease. I reject any demonic influences on any part of my body. I cast the spirit of infirmity out of my family in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I reject the spirit of financial distresses because I am more than just a conqueror over all of you in Jesus' name. I receive my covenant blessing of the fullness of the blessing of the gospel. According as it is written in Romans 15, 29, and I am sure that when I come unto you, I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Christ. I am free from all infirmity. I am free from all sicknesses and disease. I am free. I have divine health. I walk in the blessing of God that make it rich and added no sorrow to it. In the name of the Lord Jesus, as it is written in Isaiah 53 verse 5, for he was wounded for our transgression, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. I decree I walk in divine health. No sickness can hold my body anymore, internally or externally. My body is whole because it is written, If the spirit of he that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he that raised Jesus from the dead also shall quicken your mortal body. This body is quickened in the name of Jesus. According as, is, according as it is written, Romans chapter 8 verse 11. Thank you Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 1 Peter 2 24 say who is in who is own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness by whose stripes ye were healed. I claimed I, I claim my healing delivered by the Lord Jesus more than 2,000 years ago now. I was healed. I can never be sick. I walk in divine health. In the name of Jesus, hear the word of the Lord. All oh, spirit of sickness and infirmity, you have no place in my body, in my eye, in my back, in my waist, in my head, in any part of my body. Pack and go now because I was healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. Colossians chapter 3 verse 3 declares and I declare, for ye are dead and your life is hid with Christ in God. So no power of darkness can touch me anymore. I am secured as it is written. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6 and he has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Therefore, I decree I am untouchable for the enemy. I am higher than all my enemies. No covenant of evil can work with me because I operate under a higher covenant established by the highest blood, highest sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Because I am established upon the new covenant of Jesus Christ, established by the blood of Jesus Christ, I am free from all evil. I decree and declare my soul is free from all soulish imprisonment. I take captive all my previous captors i am delivered in the name of jesus from all oppressions of the devil and i bring every thought of the evil upon my life unto the obedience of christ in the name of jesus i bring all those thoughts into captivity unto the obedience of christ 
in the name of Jesus. As it is written in 2 Corinthians 10, 4 to 6, that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but the mighty through God. I employ that weapon right now to pull down every stronghold of the enemy in and around my life, my family, my body, my business, my career, my profession, in the name of Jesus, my husband, my wife, my children, in the name of Jesus. I cast down every imagination of evil and every high thing that has exalted themselves, that are exalting themselves against the knowledge and the promises of God over my life. And I bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ upon my life and all that has to do with me. I revenge all disobedience now in the name of Jesus because my obedience is complete. All disobedience is refused, subdued, and rejected. I enforce the will of God upon my life in Jesus name thank you Jesus hallelujah according as it is written in Revelation chapter 12 verse 11 and they overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony I am too far from all evil far above principalities and power I rule and dominate for Christ in the midst of my enemy on, on, on this earth in the name of Jesus as it is written in Ephesians 2 says and had raised us up together and made us to sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And Ephesians chapter 1 verse 20 to 22 says, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. And has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head of all things to the church. So the devil is under my feet in all area of life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit who lives in me, the anointed one, therefore I decree I am an anointed of the Lord. As it is written, he suffer no man to do them wrong, yea, he reprove kings for their sakes saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm in the name of jesus therefore this scripture is fulfilled upon my life every structure of the enemy is subdued in every area of my life in the name of jesus because i am serving god in righteousness and joy no sickness can stay in this body anymore no operation of the enemy can touch me anymore nor everything that has to do with me. I destroy the root of all evil. I walk in the liberty of Christ in the name of Jesus. As it is written again in Exodus 23 verse 25, and ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless your bread and your water, and he will take sickness away from the midst of you. I decree and declare no sickness can stay in my life, nor in my family, in the name of Jesus. I declare this judgment of God upon every illegal satanic operation around and in my life in Jesus name and I flush them out all sickness were taken by Jesus I cannot have them anymore I reject them sorrow grief is not my portion in the name of Jesus I stand on covenant ground I decree I am free from all evil in the name of Jesus as it is written in Colossians 1 13 who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. All power of darkness have no hold on me anymore. I have been delivered and I remain delivered in Jesus' name. I decree and declare I am cursed free because Jesus has ransomed me from them all in the name of Jesus. According as it is written in Galatians chapter 3 verse 13 and 14, the Christ has redeemed me from the curses of the law, be made a curse for me, for it is written, Cursed is every one that hangs on the tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come unto the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. I have received the promise of the Spirit through faith, and I am free from all curses. I am too blessed to be stressed. I am blessed beyond any curse. No curse can land upon my life anymore. No curse can land upon my finance anymore. 
No curse can land upon my body anymore. No curse can land upon my destiny anymore. I decree and declare reversal of all curses in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. According as it is written in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3. Oh glory to God. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who has blessed us with all spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. <laughs> I receive all spiritual blessing in heavenly places. And I'm enjoying all spiritual blessings. As against all spiritual cases. I am blessed. I have all blessing. Therefore, no cause can swallow the curse. The blessing. No curse can swallow my blessing. No curse can enter this spiritual blessing. In the name of Jesus. My covenant root ends is blessedness on every side. I decree I am too blessed to be stressed, too blessed to be cursed. According as it is written that the blessing of the Lord, it makes rich and added no sorrow with it. In Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22, this is my blessing. This is my inheritance. I am rich without sorrow and I am continually increasing in my riches without sorrow. In the name of Jesus, my blessing terminates all sorrow. I am free from all debt. I am never going to be broke again. In the name of Jesus, I am rich, I am wealthy, I am prosperous because I am building with the excellency of the wisdom of God. And because the Lord is my shepherd, Psalm 23 verse 1, I shall never want again. Because I seek first the kingdom of God, Matthew 6 33, and his righteousness, therefore I lack no good things in life. In the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. As it is written, Psalm 37, verse 25. I have been young and now I'm old, yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken or a seed bear for bread. I can never be forsaken. I can never bear for bread. I can never be stranded in life. Psalm 34, verse 10. The young lion do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. I want no good thing. I am blessed. In the name of Jesus, according to Psalm 5, verse 12, for thou, Lord, we bless the righteous. I am righteous, I am blessed. With favor will you compass him as with a shield. I am shielded with favor. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him, and they are saved. According to Psalm 34, verse 7, therefore I am saved. The angel of the Lord encamps round about them that fear him. And deliver them I am delivered and delivers them and delivers them I am continually delivered from all oppressions of the devil I am oppression free because my angels are not on strike and never shall they be in the name of Jesus I put my angels to work now to, to afflict all afflictions oppress all oppressions and glorify the father in my life in jesus name so i am shielded by the favor of the lord whatever i do prospers because i love the lord because i do not walk in the counsel of the ungodly i am not standing in this in the way of sinners i'm not sitting in the seat of the scornful. my delight is in the law of the lord according to psalm 1 and in the law of the lord i meditate day and night Therefore, I am like a tree that is planted by the rivers of water. I bring forth my fruit in its season. My leaf shall never wither. Whatsoever I do is prospering to the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, as according, according as it is written, Colossians chapter 3, verse 13 and 14 says, Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. I am free from all curses. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Ghost. I am a kingdom financier. I walk in financial dominion in the name of Jesus. Therefore, I say continually, let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in my prosperity. According as it is written in Psalm 37 verse 27, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is being magnified and I'm declaring continually because he has pleasure in my prosperity. And according as it is written, Job 36 verse 11, if they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. Because I obey God, 
and I serve my father. I am spending my days in prosperity and I am spending my years in pleasures. I live in prosperity. I live in abundant, ever increasing prosperity, abundant, ever increasing pleasure in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. In Jesus name, I am walking in divine prosperity in the name of Jesus. I can never be poor again, never. In the name of Jesus, according as Hebrews chapter 12, verse 24 has declared, and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than, the, than that of Abel. So the blood of Jesus is speaking continuous, abundant, ever increasing prosperity upon my life, ever increasing divine health. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare that goodness and mercies are following me all the days of my life. And I am dwelling in the house of the Lord forever, as it is written in Psalm 23, verse number 6, and I decree and declare, surely goodness and mercy are following me all the days of my life. Certainly, the goodness and the mercies of the Lord are my daily companion. In Jesus' name, I decree and declare that I have long life according as it is written, because I walk in righteousness. In Exodus 23, verse 26, there shall nothing cast their young, nor the be barren in your land. The numbers of your days I will fulfill. I am fulfilling destiny. I'm not leaving this realm before my time. Psalm 91 verse 16 says, and I say, I am satisfied with long life. Because God has shown me his salvation. I receive divine humanity against sickness. I am humanized against curses, diseases, failure, affliction, and all works of the devil. I decree and declare I am healthy. I decree I am prosperous. I decree I am strong in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare in old age I am still bringing forth fruits. According as is written concerning me in Psalm 92 verse 12, the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of God shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bring forth fruits in old age. They shall be fat and flourish. Verse 15 says to show that the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. He's too faithful to be unfaithful. And so I decree I am flourishing in the name of Jesus. I am a fruitful vine, as it is written in Psalm 128, in the name of Jesus. But blessed is everyone that fears the Lord. Because I fear the Lord, I am blessed. Because I walk in the ways of the Lord, I am blessed. For thou shalt eat the labor of thy hands. I am eating the labor of my hands. Happy shall thou be. I am happy and blessed. And it shall be well with me. It is well with me. He said, your, thy, your wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thy house. My wife can never be barren. My wife is fruitful even in life resources. She is fruitful. My children, like the only plants round about my tables. Because behold, that that is the way the man that fear the Lord is blessed. And this is the way I am blessed of the Lord. And he said in verse 5, The Lord shall bless thee out of Zion, and you shall see the good of Jerusalem all your days, all your life. And you shall see your children's children and peace upon Israel. I am seeing my children's children's children until I fulfill my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to live to see the goodness of the Lord upon Jerusalem. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. I decree and declare, I am strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind, in the name of Jesus, because I believe in God's prophet over my life. So I am prospering in the name of the Lord Jesus. I provoke the manifold grace of God upon the prophet of God in the house of Jesus Global Ecclesia, the apostle and the ambassador of the Lord, Apostle Ambassador David Longe, right now. According as it, it is written in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20. And according as the Lord Jesus has pointed out in John chapter 6, verse 29. I believe on him whom God has sent to enrich my life and destiny. Therefore, I am blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. 
I stand to represent you and to proclaim your children blessed. As they have made all this declaration, I stand as your oracle to proclaim them blessed. According to Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27, because of your faith and your obedience, to these faith declaration according to Isaiah 10 27 and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing therefore because you have believed in the anointing in the call and in the grace of God upon my life I break off every yoke of the terrible out of your life and I destroy the burden. I break off the burden of your shoulder. I destroy the yoke of your neck because of the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you believe according as it is written in Zechariah chapter 3 and he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and satan standing at his right hand to resist him in every area the devil has been resisting your progress your fruitfulness your advancement your peace your healthiness i stand with the host of heaven right now according to the word of the lord and the lord said unto satan the lord rebuke thee O satan even the Lord that has chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? The Lord rebuke you, Satan. Even the Lord of hosts over the life of this faithful one. Now, in Jesus' name. It is written in verse 3. Now Joshua was clothed with three of the garments and stood before the angel. And he answered and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the field of the garment from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thy iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with a change of garment. Every garment of wickedness and the terrible one that has clothed you in any area of your life, clothed your finance, clothed your marriage, clothed your spiritual eyes, clothed your soul, clothed your children, clothed your body, wherever the enemy has been clothing you, clothing your ministry, the Lord is changing your garment now. In the name of Jesus, receive the garment of liberty in the name of Jesus. And I said, let them set a fear meteor upon his head, verse 5. So they set a fear meteor upon his head and clothed him with the garments. And the angel of the Lord stood by. And the angel of the Lord protested unto Joshua, saying, Thus said the Lord of hosts, if thou wilt walk in my ways, and if thou wilt keep my charge, then thou shalt also judge my house, and shalt also keep my court and i will give thee places to walk among these that stand by and i'm charging you as you continue in holiness the lord will continue to lift up your head because righteousness exalts a nation and sin is a reproach to any people you will not be reproached i forbid spiritual wickedness in your soul in the name of jesus therefore on behalf of king jesus i proclaim you healed i proclaim you blessed I proclaim you prosperous, I proclaim you fruitful, I proclaim you promoted, I proclaim you delivered from all oppressions of the devil. In the name of Jesus, thank you Jesus. According as it is written in Isaiah 49 verse 25, For thus says the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with them that contended with you, and I will save your children. Wherever you have been taking prey, in your body, in your soul, in your finance, in any area of your life. Right now, according to this word of the Lord, put in my mouth for you. From this moment, you are no longer a prey of the terrible. In the name of Jesus. And you are being delivered right now from every captivity of the mighty. Your soul is delivered from the pit of destruction. Your body is delivered from the destruction of sicknesses and diseases and infirmity. Your marriage is delivered. Your business is delivered. Your children are delivered. Receive total deliverance by the same anointing of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. From all oppressions of the devil. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit.
in Jesus. I release you to go forth and fulfill your destiny. I release you to go and live the fullness of your life in Jesus' name. Jesus binds the devil against you in any way that he has been trying to destroy you and cast him out. And I forbid him on Jesus' behalf never to return in the name of Jesus. Receive your breakthrough now. You are healed now. The help of God has come for you now. You are being helped now. You are being broken free from all curses. Your destiny is revived. You are coming out of destruction. In the name of Jesus, you are coming out of that prison. I proclaim the peace of God upon your family. I declare you free from all evil of your bloodline. Jesus approach you out of every pit of life now. Jesus declares your soul free now. Jesus approach you out of evil foundation. Jesus is planting you firmly upon the foundation and covenant of blessedness. Jesus breaks every yoke of your neck now. Jesus is lifting every burden of your shoulder. Your body is healed. Your marriage is healed. Your children are prospering. Jesus command evil to cease in your life now. Let God be glorified in every area of your life. Receive total deliverance now in the name of Jesus. Let the angel of God go forth even on unspecified cases. As long as the devil is there, let the situation turn around to the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, the power that raised Jesus from the dead is raising you out of deadness of life. Raising every dead situation that ought not to die back to life. Receive the life of God. Total deliverance now for you. Receive. In Jesus' name, receive the ministry of the power of resurrection in every area of your life, in your destiny and ministry. Let all your sins be forgiven you now. I declare you forgiven and the Lord is raising you up in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of darkness, you sopping over, you are broken and you will never be bound again. Go and serve the Lord in righteousness and holiness. Romans 8, 11 say, But if the spirit of he that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he that raised Jesus from the dead is quickening your mortal body now. Is quickening your life. The same power of resurrection is liberating your destiny forever. If you want to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, this is the time. Say this prayer with me. Father, I confess all my sins before you and I repent from them. I receive total deliverance from the power of sin. In Jesus' name, give me your Holy Spirit. Cleanse me from all my unrighteousness. I believe Jesus is Lord and you raised him from the dead. And he died for my sins. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for making me your son, Father. Thank you for making me your daughter. In Jesus' name. And if you have said that prayer, you are now a child of God. But I won't leave you like that. You need the power of the Holy Ghost. I'd like you to set your mind right now to be baptized by fire and the power of the Holy Ghost. Blessed Holy Spirit, fulfill the promise now. Your word says, if they repent, they will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Because it is written, Romans 10, 9, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved it's because you have believed you are now saved you are now a child of god in jesus name and now next is that you need the gift of the holy ghost because it is the promise of the father for everyone that believes act of apostles chapter 2 verse 38 says then peter said unto them repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of jesus christ for remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the holy ghost so i encourage you to find a Bible-based believing church around you. And if you are a member of Jesus Global Ecclesia, we can organize water baptism for you as well. But even before water baptism, you need the gift of the Holy Ghost. So you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. The Holy Ghost is already in your heart, but he wants to start speaking through you. And so you need the voice of the Holy Ghost to help you pray, to help you worship, to help you live according to the will of God. So if you are ready for that, receive that gift now. The gift of the Holy Spirit is coming upon you. Thank you, Father. 
Lord, thank you for fulfilling your word and giving your sons, your daughters, the gift of the Holy Spirit and the package of the gift of the Spirit coming with them and let their destinies be activated alongside. I seal this one with the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Seal them, Lord, with the Holy Ghost that the devil will not be able to take them from you. Your word said, those that the Father has given to you, none of them shall be lost. This one shall not be lost. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And I know that you have been tremendously impacted and blessed. Keep making this declaration every day until your miracle manifests, if it is yet to be manifested. And if your miracle already manifested, I need you to get in touch with us you will find our contact in the description box if your miracle is not yet manifested i believe it's coming up just keep on declaring and receiving these declaration and prophetic blessing every day and i know the holy spirit never failed and you need to have that consciousness yourself and just see yourself in your miracle see yourself in your healing see yourself coming out of dungeons begin to see it and begin to declare it don't lose focus of that which you desire to make manifest begin to see yourself in your desired miracle and confess it every day and declare it as you have been taught from the beginning of this um, broadcast and I know, I guarantee you, in the name of Jesus, we will hear your testimony very soon. And for those of you who already have testimony, keep sharing your testimony with us. And on behalf of God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, on behalf of the entire family of Jesus Global Ecclesia, on behalf of myself and my wife, we welcome you to greatness. And we encourage you to join us, and your life shall not remain the same again. We have branches in a number of nations, in the US, in Ghana, in Nigeria, Namibia, Kenya, Zambia, and United Kingdom, and the Lord is still increasing us. From the description box, you will have links that will lead you, and you'll be able to know from whichever country you are, you will still get blessed every day. And I'm, I have a gift for you, 31 supernatural benefit of speaking in tongues. So you subscribe to this channel, check the uh, check the description box and click to receive your own gift and join our family online. Click to join our social media platform, our website and subscribe so that you can continually be edified. But most importantly, listen to one teaching from Apostle Ambassador David Longe myself to every day, at least one teaching. Your life shall not remain the same again. As you follow the leadership of the Holy Ghost in our ministry, it is guaranteed that you will be an eternal excellency and the joy of many generations. On weekly basis, and we minister to the needs of people, but from the different WhatsApp group that you join or the family you join, you will always and continually be updated. I'd like you to subscribe to our channel and be listening and be discipled. God has commanded me to raise disciples of all nations. And please begin to study your Bible every day and make sure you pray in the Holy Ghost at least in the morning 30 minutes before you go to bed 30 minutes and throughout the day pray in the Holy Ghost. The Lord bless you and make his face shine upon you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We love you and stay blessed. Shalom.